welcome to the 2020 Early College Career Academy Completion Ceremony. My name is James Dexter, and I am privileged to serve as the District Superintendent of the Washington, Saratoga, Warren, Hamilton, Essex, BOCES, and to partner with SUNY Adirondack on the Early College Career Academy and PTEC programs. I am so happy to be a part of this celebration. You've accomplished so much, and this is just the beginning. I would like to take a moment to thank all of the parents that assisted you in getting this far and your instructors who have guided you. These last few months and this ceremony is not what you had planned, but then again, neither was ECCA. You stepped out of your comfort zone to join this program and you have excelled. Our unusual situation has raised the bar and you have risen to the occasion. Nothing can take away what you have completed in your area of study with skill and distinction. You have set yourself up for success. Your skills and credentials are more important than ever before and will put you ahead of your peers. The confidence that ECCA has built in you will go a long way in your future endeavors. So while a pandemic may have changed the way you finished out your senior year at Early College Career Academy, it's likely taught you a few things about who you are and what you can achieve in the future. Challenges arise in all of our lives, communities, and across the globe. Forge your character so no matter what life brings your way, you will persist. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your resilience, your determination, and your desire to succeed. We are here today to celebrate your accomplishments of you. I'd like to take a moment to talk about how connected you have been to each other for these past two years, and especially these last several months. You have made great friendships, connected with your instructors, with industry leaders, and enjoyed unique experiences that only ECCA could provide. I know that a million and one memories of ECCA will emerge with all the vibrancy when you look back at your experience at ECCA. Learning doesn't stop at graduation. It goes on forward. Each generation has a defining moment. This is yours. Go forward. You have the tools you need to be successful. Challenge yourself to find your purpose in life and go make a difference. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Congratulations to all of our Early College and PTEC 2020 graduates. On behalf of the SUNY Adirondack Board of Trustees, faculty, and staff, we are proud of all 66 of you in our four career academies from 16 different high schools in our region. This partnership with Wishy Boses and our industry leaders has provided you with an incredibly rich and rewarding experience that I expect will propel you far beyond many of your peers. The combination of rigorous academic work with hands-on, workforce-relevant instruction is a winning combination second to none. Your skills in problem-solving, creativity, innovation, and teamwork are precisely what employers are looking for. Regardless of where your next stop may be, although I'm sincerely hoping it is SUNY Adirondack, you are well prepared for the world of work. Of course, this semester, as your last stop in this part of your life, was more than ordinary. You demonstrated the resilience and grit it takes to succeed in very stressful times. Although we do not wish COVID-19 to persist or return, there will no doubt be stressful times in your life where disappointments will prevail. Remember, the extraordinary effort you put in to achieve your goals, the patience and fortitude you needed to be successful, and your ability to see beyond the moment to embrace the total experience. I applaud each of you and encourage you to apply your newfound skills in a life that will no doubt be filled with unpredictable moments. You are ready. So congratulations, 2020 graduates, the class of extraordinaires. Hello, I'm Ron Richards, the CEO of RASP Incorporated, and I would like to congratulate all of you who have completed the Early College Career Academy program. Being accepted into the ECCA program is an honor but having completed the program is even a greater honor and you should be very proud of this accomplishment. As a local business owner, I'm a big supporter of the Early College Career Academy because of the great programs that it offers 
and the opportunities that it provides to talented, ambitious students like you. The programs ECCA offer and the one that you completed are relevant to local businesses, sought after in our society, and important for our future. You made the important decision in your life to attend the Early College Career Academy. You put in all the hard work and the time to complete this two-year journey. You should be very proud of yourself and your accomplishments. Again, I congratulate you for completing the Early College Career Academy program, and I wish you all the best of luck. Two years ago, before ECCA, I was insecure, shy, and quiet. And now, because of ECCA, I am confident, outgoing, and ready for any challenge that I am faced with. The Citizenship Award recognizes an individual who is highly regarded by faculty and students, displays a positive attitude, has a healthy respect for diversity and views of others, possesses the courage to do what is right, and participates in school and or community activities and service. Advanced Manufacturing Queensbury Campus. This student deserves this award for challenging himself to step out of his comfort zone and for overcoming obstacles. He is always humble. The Citizenship Award goes to Cody Pearson from Queensbury. Advanced Manufacturing Saratoga Campus. He is a personal advocate for the program and attended every information session to talk to other students about the opportunity. He took the lead on welcoming visitors to the program. This Citizenship Award goes to Clark Lyons from Saratoga Springs. Business and Entrepreneurship Saratoga Campus. This student shows great work ethic and is always looking out for her peers. She has a unique ability to recognize when her classmates need assistance and quickly seeks to help them. The Citizenship Award goes to Sophia Vanderwalker from Hudson Falls. IT Computer Networking, Cybersecurity, Queensbury Campus. This young man not only works hard, but volunteers in the X Factor Club, which offers activities for students who normally would not participate in school activities. His effort helps students feel accepted and part of a community. The Citizenship Award goes to William Fideli from Queensbury. IT Networking Cybersecurity Saratoga Campus. The extent of her volunteerism in her community goes deep. She volunteers for the Double H Ranch, a camp for terminally ill students. Beyond helping her community, she is an asset to her classmates, always having a positive outlook and helping whenever she can. The Citizenship Award goes to Brooklyn Beebe from Saratoga Springs. New Media Queensbury Campus. For his kind-heartedness, and his efforts to support his classmates and the community, the Citizenship Award goes to Samuel Mead from Hudson Falls. New Media Saratoga Campus. This student puts forth a lot of effort to help in his community. He spent endless hours on a project for the Washington County Fair. He strives to be a responsible citizen and good team member. The Citizenship Award goes to Devin Brimmer from Schuylerville. The Leadership Award recognizes an individual's leadership abilities and contributions to the Early College Career Academy program and their community, possesses role model attributes, positively impacts others, is conscientious about their studies, and has demonstrated initiative, motivation, and potential for continued leadership. Advanced Manufacturing Queensbury Campus. Her ability to enlist her peers to do their best by completing tasks and trying something new has made her a strong leader. Her work ethic is contagious among her classmates. The Leadership Award goes to Carly Wood from Hartford. Advanced Manufacturing Saratoga Campus. A professionalist with a strong work ethic and the ability to lead her classmates, her leadership extends beyond her years. She has a natural gift of encouraging others while still holding them accountable for their actions. The Leadership Award goes to Zariah Tufino from Saratoga Springs. Business and Entrepreneurship, Saratoga Campus. This student is described as energetic, positive, diplomatic, honest, and perseveres with grace. She is the kind of student everyone looks up to. The Leadership Award goes to Alyssa Reed from Queensbury. IT Networking and Cybersecurity, Queensbury Campus. This student helps recruit students to the program, assist in building the foundation for the IT program. They challenge themselves to learn more, do more, and be more, even when she fails. 
She never backs down from a challenge. The Leadership Award goes to Maureen McDermott, Queensbury. IT Networking Cybersecurity, Saratoga Campus. Never accepting subpar work, encourages his classmates to do the same. This student presents great leadership characteristics. He is unwavered by distractions or negativity and willing to lead by example. A hard worker, dedicated to his field, his community, and his family. The Leadership Award goes to Giovanni Mosca from Corinth. New Media Queensbury Campus. Passionate about her field, this student has a contagious energy about her. She's motivated, enthusiastic, and a true professional. She serves as a role model to other students, but is willing to reach out to help her classmates. The Leadership Award goes to Elizabeth Welsing from Queensbury. New Media Saratoga Campus. Noted for his perfectionism, this student strives to help his classmates be just as successful. An optimist, he provides support to his classmates. He understands and accepts constructive criticism and uses it to improve his work. The Leadership Award goes to Robert Palmero from Saratoga Springs. And I'm honored to say that the Maureen Van Buren Scholarship and Award recognizes a student in the Career Academy program who plans to further their studies through college or technical school. This student exhibits a strong work ethic, a generous spirit, a true passion for their field of study, and demonstrates dedication for their community and their family. And I'm going to talk a little bit about Maureen. Maureen was um, an, a, a superintendent of the Fort Ann School District. She then retired, and then she did some work for the BOCES. And in her work in the BOCES, she did a lot of work in putting together the early parts of the Early College Career Academy and the PTAC. And unfortunately, you never got a chance to meet her, but she was a very kind person. And so with me here is Ron Van Buren, her husband, and her, her family and others have supported this scholarship award for many years. I'm so honored and pleased to be here to share your very special day. Maureen would have been so proud of the accomplishments each one of you has made. I remember very clearly all of Maureen's passion and excitement about the potential of this program. I am so excited to be here and I know that Maureen would be just as excited and passionate today as she was at the very beginning when this was still just an idea on paper. Thank you for allowing me to share this day with you. Today is your day. It's not about me or it's not about BOCES. I'm sure all of you have worked very hard to get where you are. Some of you might even have thought, eh, I may not make it. But I doubt it because you guys are pretty strong and uh, you've all done yourselves and your parents and families proud. This has been a big part of your life but now there's so much more ahead of you. Go forward and excel. Be proud of who you are and what you've done. Take some time to enjoy your accomplishments and be thankful. And most of all, good luck and be safe. The class of 2020 scholarship winners are, for advanced manufacturing, Carly Wood from the North Warren Central School District, Business and Entrepreneurship, Alyssa Reed from the Queensbury Union Free School District. IT Computer Networking and Cybersecurity, Giovanni Mosca from the Corinth Central School District. And for New Media, Calvin Howard from the Hartford Central School District. In addition, you really exemplify the work that Maureen put into this program and her spirit. So I'm really thrilled that you are each going to receive a $500 scholarship towards your future. Thank you. Congratulations to all of my fellow graduates. Today is a great day to celebrate with our families and friends. A day we have been working towards since we entered the program a few years ago. For some of us, going away to college is the next step in our great journey of life. And for others who aren't going away to college, we'll be staying put at SUNY Adirondack for another year of good times. We have used this experience to better prepare ourselves for the day when we finally leave home and go out into the world all on our own. We may not know precisely what we aim to achieve for the rest of our lives, but we are not afraid to go down that road. 
But for all of us, as we go through these final days of school, we look back at all the good times we've had over the past few years. From the summer camps in 9th and 10th grade to the fun conversations and life lessons we talked about in Gage's class. I do have to say, even with all the fun that we had, we learned a little bit too. It's no lie that some classes were harder than others and we had our hiccups, but as a whole, we were always there to help each other. By doing that, we have gotten to this point. One thing that always has us wondering though, is how does Cody have such a perfect memory to the point where no one in the class ever gets a grading curve? Still, with that being said, we've all worked hard to get the best grades possible, even if some of us were professional procrastinators. We have all had to deal with many challenges throughout our time in the program, like having to read Carly's eulogy in Speech 111 and finding out that it was not just a speed bump, or being quarantined for the last three months of our senior year. But even with unforeseen obstacles, we will never forget Barry or the great times we've had with each other. I hope it will help us out in finding out who we really are down the road and take advantage of any and every opportunity that presents itself in front of us. Just think about this. All of us took college classes in high school. Really let that sink in. I know whenever I tell someone that, they think I'm some kind of crazy genius. I think that's an awesome accomplishment on its own and that we are now officially graduating from this great program that has prepared us even more than the average high school student. Take those experiences with you. Keep close to students and teacher friends we've made. I know I'm not alone in saying this, but we've all grown together over the last four years to where we are now one big family. Together, we've earned our passports to a lifetime of success. Use it and succeed wherever you go and whatever we end up doing. I would like to thank our teachers, business partners, counselors, our homeschools, families, and friends for supporting us through our journeys. And I suggest that when we get our diplomas, we proudly hang them on the side of our refrigerators with Frank the Farmer and Gage's face magnet. Once again, congratulations to each of you and may we all succeed in the years ahead. We all took a huge leap when deciding to become a part of this program. Just two years ago, we walked into a classroom filled with people we had never met before on a campus we'd never seen. We knew we would be leaving our high schools for half of every day to become a part of something greater. I've met my best friends and created a family of people I would have never known elsewhere. I've had more support than I ever thought possible in preparing me for the world beyond high school. I walked into it having no path for my life and now I am more than prepared for everything ahead. Throughout my two years in this program, I had the opportunity to take part in three job shadows and one 10 week internship. This really allowed me to narrow down my interests in such a large field. I've learned how to network with new people, professionally communicate, and present in front of a crowd. Gaining a year's worth of college credits in high school is a big plus, but it is so much more than that. I've been allowed the opportunity to work on real industry challenges, including one with Cafe Lena, located in Saratoga Springs. We created a marketing and branding plan for the new series they were presenting, and they loved it. Because of this program, I have gained the confidence to truly say you can achieve anything you want in this world. Although we were unable to hold a ceremony to award our achievements, we should all be proud of how far we've come. I speak for the class when I say we are all grateful for the relationships we've created within our classrooms. I believe we will all move on to do great things. This is because we are brave enough to step out of our boundaries and take a chance at early college. Hello, students, parents, and staff. My name is Giovanni Mosca, and I am in the IT, Computer Networking, and Cybersecurity program. I come from a small district, and so I was very excited when I learned about the Early College Career Academy. Without this program, I would have been limited to the two or three classes that my home school has in my field of interest. Instead, I had the amazing opportunity to take college classes, obtain certifications, and gain valuable experience with industry technologies. For me, I've always known that I want to pursue a career involving technology. I am the one that everyone calls for computer help, including the teachers at my high school. The ECCA has given me the opportunity to delve deep into this field in a way that I could never have achieved through a high school education alone. Now, as my final year draws to a close, this program has prepared me not only to continue to pursue technology in my post-secondary education, but also for an entry-level position in IT. 
The Early College Career Academy was not only an amazing opportunity for academic enrichment, it also provided a place where students of similar interests and goals could come together. For many of us, this was the first time that we had been able to work with other students who shared our fascination with technology. Because of the Early College Career Academy, we have learned more than we thought possible and formed friendships that will last a lifetime. When you have classes with the same small group of people and the same amazing educators for two years, you become connected in a way that is deeper than in a traditional high school setting. I believe that I can say with absolute certainty that each and every one of us will leave this program as a better student, maybe even a better human being than when we started. I will always remember the sometimes begrudged teamwork that our class demonstrated, the never-ending squirrel tally, the sticky hands, and all the other crazy antics that reminded me that for some of us, this really was the early college career academy. I have met so many talented individuals that I would never have encountered before, and it was a pleasure to share the classroom with all of you. I have made friends that I never would have expected, including Ryan, who drives me crazy, but also makes the best peanut butter cookies that I've ever had. In all seriousness, I have seen in every single student here the raw curiosity and desire to succeed that make up the potential for greatness. So don't hesitate to give me a call if you become rich and famous. I truly believe that if you really put your mind to it, you will be successful. So as you move forward into the rest of your lives, remember to dream big, do your absolute best, and never give up. Because who knows, you might just be the one to change the world. Congratulations, ECCA Class of 2020. I often tell people that if I hadn't signed up for the ECCA New Media Program, I don't think I would have survived high school. Although that's obviously an exaggeration, I do consider my two years in new media to be the most inspiring and transformative years of my life. After being asked to reflect upon my experience in new media, I initially thought of the tightly knit community we've built. Whether you expected it or not, after the initial week or two of class, we got very comfortable with each other. It had to be by week two or three that Bobby Palermo and I started screaming what we call dad noises as we stretched in our chairs. And after a few months, we had connected over class-wide memes and sayings. I'll never forget the day that we were turning in final files for a project and Brandon asked the legendary question, Bobby, what is bigboobs.jpg? I know I don't stand alone when I say that coming to new media felt like an everyday escape. To many of us, our classroom felt more like a home, and I think everyone who had her has called Mrs. Goss mom at least once. Regarding both the professors and students, I had never previously been surrounded by such a talented group of hardworking people. Ranging across many different disciplines such as design, photography, coding, illustration, and so much more, I witnessed passionate artists dedicated to creating stunning work. Through creative problem solving in a curriculum that demanded students to push their boundaries, a valuable attribute was ingrained in every one of us. Exploration. If you thought you knew it all coming into the program, those feelings were quickly humbled by the stunning amount of creative avenues we could learn and the depth of knowledge within those different disciplines. Thought videography was your thing? Try typography. You only do illustration? Code a website. You're into photography? Develop a brand, determine the target market, give it a visual identity, and present it all in front of the class. As young adults, exploring different avenues is extremely valuable in discerning what your thing will be. How can you be sure your current hobby is your passion if you haven't surveyed your other areas of interest? We live in a time where the entirety of human knowledge is sitting at our fingertips and the only thing standing between you and that information is the willingness to ask the questions. By choosing to enter the new media program, we all showcased our desire to expand our horizons as young adults and artists, but I strongly encourage you not to sit content with your current skill set. We're now at the beginning of our journey into adulthood, but we must fight to forever maintain our childlike curiosity. Class of 2020, this may not be our typical ending, but being typical was never our intention. Be fearless, seek knowledge, and never stop exploring. Thank you. Hey everyone, for those who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Sketchkowski, and I am the ECCA P-TECH School Counselor. It is my honor to represent our student body in announcing the Student Choice Awards, along with my close friend and SUNY Adirondack coworker, Ryan Cummings. 
The Student Choice Award is given to a student who is recognized for their display of spirit and camaraderie, shows enthusiasm towards learning and willingness to help others, and demonstrates a will to succeed in the ECCA and PTEC program in future endeavors. I should mention these awards are determined by the students based on their view of their peers. So without further ado, we would like to announce the recipients of the Queensbury Campus Student Choice Awards. Advanced Manufacturing Queensbury Student Choice Award. For our first award, we will start with the Advanced Manufacturing Program. This student has been described as a hard worker that does more than what is asked of him. He is a team leader that leads by example and is willing to step in to help his fellow peers. This student has been described as a quote unquote true tank that is always the first to send out GGs. I am happy to announce that the recipient of the Northern Advanced Manufacturing Student Choice Award goes to Michael Fideli, also known as Drew. The IT Queensbury Student Choice Award winner. Our next student has been described as someone that has lots of discipline, is always on top of their work, and puts quality and effort into all assignments. The student tries his hardest and always pushes his classmate to do their best. The recipient of the Queensbury IT Student Choice Award goes to William Fideli, also known as Tony. The New Media Queensbury Student Choice Award. Our last Queensbury Student Choice Award goes to a student that has been described as the sweetest person you will ever meet. The student is known for her hard work and willingness to help her classmates. She has been described as a phenomenal team player that is dedicated and knows the boundaries of her peers and group work. I am proud to announce that the Queensbury New Media Student Choice Award goes to Sarah Stevens. For Advanced Man Saratoga, the award winner is Zariah Tofino. She's the class mom of Advanced Manufacturing Saratoga and is one of the best ice cream servers in Saratoga. Can't tell you where because no free ads. She always helps out and is willing to lend a hand for our student ambassador program and to help her fellow classmates. For IT Saratoga, student choice winner is Giovanni Mosca. Giovanni's one of the smartest kids in the program and one of the most helpful. He's always uh, willing to lend a helping hand and helping out with the class, helping out it with the younger kids in the P-TECH program, and is also uh, willing to help people succeed within the class um, as far as grades and outside endeavors. The New Media Saratoga Student Choice Award winner is Garrett Myers. Garrett is very precise in his work and takes great pride in everything he does. He's always prepared, his presentations are always great. There's no doubt in my mind that he's well deserving of this award. For Business and Entrepreneurship, the Student Choice Award winner is Sophia Vander Walker. Uh, Sophia had a tough year walking around with boot all the year, but always works very hard, loves to pound her fists together when she presents, and always has her, uh, has her work um, in on time and does a great job. She just presented uh, one of the best marketing plans I've seen from our students um, to our um, administrators and does a great job in doing so. She's continuing at Adirondack and there's no doubt she'll have great success. The ECCA Advanced Manufacturing Program gave me a goal, something to work towards that I didn't have back in high school, and something that I am very grateful to have completed. Hi, this is John, Professor John Veach, and I want to say congratulations to the Advanced Manufacturing Class of 2020. Uh, you guys made it through and really great to uh, see it graduating. Unfortunately, it's virtual. So first, Annalise Brown, your school home school is Hudson Falls. You earned credits in safety, 23 credits, and you're moving on to SUNY Adirondack, SUNY ESF, Ranger School of Environmental and Natural Conservation. Ryan Cross, home school is Queensbury. He's a certified production technician. He earned 29 credits. He's going on to RIT to get mechanical engineering and aerospace. Drew Fideli, home school is Queensbury. He picked up, he is also a certified production technician. He earned 30 credits. He's going on to SUNY Adirondack to study biomechanical engineering. Jackson Gilbert, his home school is Queensbury. He is also a certified production technician. He earned 29 credits. He is going on to the US Marine Corps or Navy Civil Engineering Aerospace. Alyssa Hughes, Queensbury Home School. She is also a certified production technician, earned 29 credits, moving on to SUNY Adirondack in electrical technology. Ryan LaPan, Home School is Queensbury. He earned also a certified production technician, picked up 26 credits, and he is also going on to SUNY Adirondack in electrical technology. 
Okay, now we have Sean Norton from Hudson Falls. He received a certification in safety and quality. He's yet to take his maintenance awareness test, so we're hoping for the best. He's got 29 credits, and he is attending SUNY Adirondack and Mechatronics. Cody Pearson from Queensbury. He is a certified production technician. He received 22 credits and will attend SUNY Adirondack for electrical technology. Harrison Reesley from Queensbury. He is a certified production technician. He received 29 credits, is going to attend Clarkson University for mechanical engineering. Mano Stevens from North Warren. She is a certified production technician, received 27 college credits, and will attend Clarkson University for uh, mechanical engineering. Sean Streets from Queensbury. He has received his certifications in safety, processes, and maintenance awareness. He has 22 college credits and will attend SUNY Adirondack in the fall for electrical technology. Carly Wood from North Warren. She is a certified production technician. She has 27 college credits and will attend SUNY Adirondack in the fall for communications and business. And Nico Zuger is from Argyle. He is a certified production technician. He has 21 college credits and will attend SUNY Adirondack in electrical technology. Okay, class of 2020. I've never actually given a graduation speech before, but you've definitely earned one from me. Many of you have known me since eighth grade, and some of you would say that two years is plenty. No matter the time frame, you have all impressed me over the years, and especially the past few months. Nobody can relate to what you have persevered through. Graduating high school is an achievement on its own, yet you have done it under extreme duress and uncertainty. That's like playing a leveled up legendary card against the rest of our level nine common cards. I would congratulate you on your amazing accomplishment, but you are already getting that from Malala Yousafzai and the Obamas. Instead, I want to challenge you. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. Doors will open. You just have to walk through them and see where they lead. Whatever you do, don't congratulate or berate yourself too much. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Most importantly, invest in yourself early and often. That means avoid debt and practice continuous learning. Your future self will thank you. I cannot stress enough how proud I am of all of you. When history looks back at 2020, many will remember a dark time. I, however, will always recall the advanced manufacturing class of 2020. I thank you for providing me the opportunity to be your teacher. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of our graduates for the 2020 class of the ECCA and the College Career Academy. Our graduates include Hunter Chandler from Saratoga Springs. He got the Certified Production Technician Certification, and he's got 29 college credits and is planning on attending SUNY Adirondack uh, to further his education in electrical engineering. Cole Flynn from Saratoga Springs uh, received certification in safety and processes, also received 29 credits for college, and is proceeding into SUNY Adirondack and electrical engineering as well. David Godchalk of Saratoga received certifications in quality and processes, got 26 college credits, and will be going into SUNY Adirondack into the manufacturing program. And Clark Lyons, uh, Saratoga Springs, a certified product te production technician, also receives 26 college credits and is heading into the SUNY Adirondack manufacturing program. Sebastian Niemer Cabrera uh, from Saratoga High School, um, certified in safety, quality, and maintenance. He earned 29 college credits and he'll be at SUNY Adirondack in the fall. Joseph Powers from Bolton, MSSC certified in safety, quality, and processes. Uh, he's earned 28 college credits and will be at SUNY Adirondack in the fall. Zoraya Tofino from Saratoga High School. She is certified in safety, quality, and processes. She's earned 28 college credits and she'll be at SUNY Adirondack in the fall and plans on being an Imagineer at Disney. Connor Wickert from Saratoga High School. Uh, he's certified in safety. He's earned 29 college credits and this fall, he will be at SUNY Adirondack uh, pursuing a career in welding. Seniors, congratulations. It has been a memorable year. If I could give you one piece of advice, it would be don't live somebody else's life. Stay true to who you are. 
Find what you love and you'll be successful. Work hard, be responsible, and give back. I feel like the time we had together was too short. But if I could say one thing to each of you, it would be, Clark, you are a strong leader. Sebastian, you have a quiet confidence. Sorry. You're gonna miss Lisa. Zariah, you have such a sweet spirit. Cole, I think you have an exciting life ahead of you. Hunter, you have a sharp mind and you always surprise me. David, find what you love and go for it. Joe, I know you'll be successful and I want you to know that too. Connor, don't lose your goofy sense of humor. I am proud of each and every one of you and excited to see what the future holds. As you've always done in this class, you adapted, you persevered, and you maintained your humor. Remember this time in your lives and reflect on it when life gets tough. No matter what, you can do anything you put your mind to. Congratulations, you've all earned this. You have all succeeded in your own way, on your own time. Two years ago, you started as a diverse group, but quickly came together as a family, each with your own contributions. Matt's dry humor and accounting skills, Jordan's nurturing personality and meditation skills, Avery's advocacy and negotiating skills to wiggle in one more team build, Adam's leadership and ability to sell anything, Jack's impersonations and eating skills, Sophie's, Sophia's patience and pounding fists, Alex's quiet yet thoughtful manner, and Alyssa's leadership and perseverance. I'm honored to have been on this journey with you. My life has forever changed having known you. You have so much ahead of you and I'm excited for your futures. Always remember your why, Remember that life is all about relationships and go be the change you want to see in the world. Adam Collins from Queensbury earned 23 credits. His plans are to go on to SUNY Adirondack, SUNY Empire, then Siena with a, for a bachelor's degree. Matt Dubois from Salem, he earned 23 credits. His future plans are to go on to SUNY Adirondack, SUNY Empire, then Siena for accounting. Jordan Fuss from Queensbury earned 23 credits. Her plans are to go on to Hofstra University for forensic science. Avery Ketchum from Saratoga earned 23 credits and her plan is to go on to SUNY New Paltz to study education. Alexandria Mickle from Hudson Falls earned 23 credits and she plans to enter the workforce. Alyssa Reed from Queensbury earned 23 credits and she plans to go on to SUNY Adirondack then SUNY Albany to study business administration. Sophia Vanderwalker from Hudson Falls earned 23 credits. Her plans to go to SUNY Adirondack then SUNY Empire then Siena for business administration. And Jack Whitaker from Saratoga earned 23 credits. He's going on to SUNY Plattsburgh to study business administration. With ECCA, my experience has never been dull. I've made amazing friends and had awesome teachers and really interesting courses. In IT, you never fully knew, or I never fully knew, what it was going to be like until I walked in and sat in the classroom on day one. And now, coming out of this, I have made amazing teachers, had wonderful real-life experiences with local fairs um, and businesses and interactions. And now I'm able to apply that to real life when I graduate high school and I come out with an associate's degree. Noah Bulge from Whitehall, CompTIA A+, 1001 certification, 22 credits, attending SUNY Adirondack and SUNY Cobleskill in IT cybersecurity. Jacob DeJohn from Queensbury, 17 credits, going to SUNY Delhi and cybersecurity. William Tony Fidelity from Queensbury, CompTIA A+, 1001, 1002 certification, 32 credits, going to SUNY Adirondack and cybersecurity. Maureen McDermott from Queensbury, 32 credits, going to SUNY Adirondack 
and IT networking. It was a pleasure to meet all of you. I enjoyed our time together and the fun we had learning. The friendships you have with your classmates will endure for many years to come. I am very proud of each and every one of you. Next year, stop by my classroom for a visit. The new students will love meeting you and may even be inspired by you. Congratulations, seniors. You did it. First up, from the IT class in Wilton, Brooklyn Beebe. She came to us from Saratoga Springs High School. And she's going to leave today with 23 credits to go to SUNY Adirondack to pursue a physical therapy degree. Next in line, Kendrew Hayes. Kendrew came to us from Hadley Luzerne School. He's going to be leaving us with 24 college credits, heading on to SUNY Oneonta to do business. Dylan Morehouse, he also came to us from Hadley Luzerne. He's going to be leaving us with 21 college credits. And Dylan is headed off to the United States Army to work in their IT group. Giovanni Mosca, he comes to us from Corinth. Giovanni got his A plus certification, his CSENT certification, and his CCNA. He's going to be leaving us with 33 college credits, going on to Syracuse University for a BS in computer science. Sajid Maharis, he came to us from Saratoga also. He's leaving us with 19 credits. He's going to SUNY Hudson Valley to pursue a degree in criminal justice. Nicholas Rowinski came to us from Schuylerville. He also attained his CompTIA a certificate, CSENT, and he's going to leave us with 28 college credits going on to SUNY Adirondack for a computer science major. Evan Steves. Evan came from us from Saratoga Springs High School also. He's going to be leaving with 26 college credits. He's also going to be going to SUNY Adirondack for computer networking. And last, but certainly not least, Ryan Veal. He comes to us from Schuylerville. He's going to be leaving us with 25 college credits. He's going to SUNY Hudson Valley for entrepreneurship. Over the past couple years, it's been great uh, teaching you guys. We've had a lot of fun. I hope you've had a lot of fun. One thing I want to leave you with is um, you laughed when Giovanni and I would talk about um, space. But I got a chance to go to NASA this summer and found one thing that I thought you would be um, interested in. Always, if you want, strive to be better than average, okay? So think about it. A lot of people in life are average. Strive to be greater than average. Have a good summer, good luck in college, and hey, I appreciate the time we spent together. Thanks. Overall, I'm very thankful to be a part of this program. Over the past two years, I've made some great friends, had some great memories, and I decided that I'd like to continue my education at SUNY Adirondack. Jessa Cushing from Hartford earned 29 credits. We'll be going to SUNY Adirondack or Dean Tampa. Joshua Demados from Queensbury earned 32 credits. We'll be going to Emerson College for sports communication. Madison Dines from Queensbury earned the ACA Photoshop certification and the ACA Illustrator certification, earned 29 college credits, and will be going to SUNY Adirondack. Cole Genevic from Hartford earned the ACA Photoshop certification, earned the ACA Illustrator certification, earned 32 college credits, will be going to SUNY Adirondack, continuing for new media. Calvin Howard from Hartford earned the ACA certification in Photoshop, earned the ACA certification in Illustrator, earned 32 college credits, will be going to SUNY Adirondack for graphic arts. Lee Joyner from Queensbury earned the ACA certification in Photoshop, earned the ACA certification in Illustrator, earned 32 college credits, will be going to SUNY Adirondack. Seth Longdrigan from Queensbury earned the ACA Photoshop 
certification, earned 29 college credits, will be going to SUNY Adirondack for video editing. Alex Martino from Queensbury earned the ACA certification in Photoshop, earned 32 college credits, will be earning a bachelor's degree in broadcasting and video editing. Sam Mead from Hudson Falls earned the ACA certification in Photoshop, earned ACA certification in Illustrator, earned 32 credits in college, will be going to the new school for a bachelor's degree. Trent Pollock from Fort Ann earned the ACA certification in Photoshop, earned the ACA certification in Illustrator, earned 29 credits, will be going to SUNY Adirondack for media arts. Sophie Reed from Warrensburg earned the ACA certification in Photoshop, earned the ACA certification in Illustrator, earned 32 credits, will be going to SUNY Adirondack for nursing degree. Arlie Smith from Hudson Falls earned the ACA certification in Photoshop, earned 29 credits, will be going to SUNY Adirondack for media arts. Matt Smith from Lake George earned ACA certification in Photoshop, earned ACA certification in Illustrator, earned 33 credits, will be going to SUNY Adirondack for criminal justice and police science. Sarah Stevens from North Warren earned ACA certification in Photoshop, earned ACA certification in Illustrator, earned 32 credits, going to Lemoyne College for marketing and visual arts. Elizabeth Welsing from Queensbury, earned ACA certification in Photoshop, earned 32 credits, will be going to SUNY Oneonta, majoring in animation and minoring in graphics. To the graduating students, despite some hard tasks, sadness, and grief that you have encountered in the course of your studies in the ECCA program, at the end of it all, you completed this part of the journey with great achievement and accomplished it with courage, grace, and professionalism. Today, I am honored to say I am proud of your many achievements over the past two years, your various conquests and program and the many projects you took on. As you leave this program, expect to have some challenges awaiting for you, which of course, I strongly believe going by the manner you have conducted yourselves over the past two years and the skills and knowledge you have gained, you will surely overcome them. Be kind and good to people you meet on your way up and to always be creative in whatever you do. Congratulations, and thank you for allowing me to be your teacher. Devin Brimmer from Schuylerville, ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, received 32 college credits, will be attending Ithaca College for film and photography. Madison Caravella from Saratoga, received her ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, received 29 college credits, will be attending Leslie College of Art and Design. Maya Dura from Corinth received her ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, received 32 college credits, will be attending the Fashion Institute of Technology for Art. Nia Del Valle from South Glens Falls received her ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, received 35 college credits, attended Sudi Anirondack for Media Arts and Communications and Marketing. Michaela Kunkel from Corinth received her ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, received 32 college credits, will be attending Sudi Adirondack, continuing in new media. Jennifer Planch from Saratoga received her ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, received 29 college credits, and will be joining the workforce. Alexander Ludwig from Saratoga received his ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, received 32 college credits, will be attending Sudi Adirondack for art. Garrett Myers from Saratoga received his ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, has received 32 college credits, will be attending the University of Arizona for film and TV. Robert Palermo from Saratoga received his ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator, received 32 college credits, will be attending the Fashion Institute of Technology for Photography. Annabella Saka from Saratoga received her ACA certification in Photoshop and Illustrator. She has received 29 college credits. She'll be attending college for graphics. It has been extraordinary watching the growth of each one of you over the past two years. You have came into the program not sure of what to expect from yourselves, each other, or me. To learning that working together and sharing your strengths and weaknesses has made all of you stronger. The end of the year has not been what we expected but I am so proud of each one of you and how you have continued to push yourselves. 
I look forward to seeing what you all become as you move on in your own directions. I wish you all the best. We would like to congratulate the first cohort, Class of 2020, Southern Adirondack P-TECH students. Students of this program began in ninth grade and completed their associate's degree this year. Connor Anderson, who completed his degree in electrical technology and is finishing up this summer, uh, here's what he thought about the program. The biggest part of P-TECH is that I liked how we started taking college classes in high school and how it made the switch easy. I also liked how I'll be able to join and enter the job field sooner than most people my age will have lots of knowledge in my field because of the classes I took through P-TECH. The next graduate is Justin Fowler, who is also finishing in his fifth year. He, he earned his degree in electrical technology and is also finishing up this summer. He said, my next steps are, are to directly join the workforce and gain experience as a technician. My degree was in AAS in electrical technology. For me, being a P-TECH student meant that I am determined and hardworking individual, capable of achieving anything I put my mind to. Justin will be employed at Praxis Technology going forward. The next graduate is Zachary Graves. He also earned his degree in electrical technology in year five and graduated this spring. He said, I will be graduating with an electrical technology degree and I will most likely be applying to many local businesses in hopes to find a job that pertains to my degree. P-TECH helped me get through an early start to my college career as well as provide me with an opportunity to graduate debt free in a world filled with debt. The next graduate is Sean Miller, also finishing in his fifth year with a degree in electrical technology. He said, in the beginning of eighth grade, like most kids, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I chose P-TECH when filling out my schedule for my freshman year on a whim. This turned out to be the best educational decision I could have made as the P-TECH program has given me a structured pathway to begin my post high school career. Through the P-TECH and ECCA programs, I learned countless lessons, both about my field of study and about life in general. Mr. Simpson's life lessons still resonate with me on a daily basis, and because of the program, I have been able to be more independent and overall more prepared for the path in front of me. Because of the exposure to advanced manufacturing methods within the program, I've developed an interest in CNC coding and operations. This landed me employment at a local machine shop, so not only am I pursuing a passion I unearthed through the program, I'm also stimulating the local, local economy and hometown employment rates. I plan on attending HVCC this fall for an AOS in advanced manufacturing and hope to enter my career as a machinist after. Not only have I found a career I want to pursue, I've also graduated with an associate's degree that I can apply at my current job and in my future endeavors. Next graduate, also graduating in her fifth year, is Megan Washburn, who earned an AAS degree in IT computer networking and is finishing up this summer. She said, it's crazy to think that I've been in P-TECH since my freshman year in high school. I've learned many different things, some I liked, some I didn't. My favorite part about being in P-TECH was meeting some of my closest friends and being able to participate in Girls Go STEM. I feel that P-TECH has helped me get closer to reaching my goal of one day becoming a video game developer. The next graduate is finishing this year in year six that is graduate that is earned an electrical technology degree this May. He took some time to record his own thoughts on the program, so that'll be following. Being in the P-TECH Advanced Manufacturing Program has opened many doors for me. I've made tons of great friends, met many great people, and made lasting memories throughout these years. Getting offered to be one of the first students to join a P-TECH program on my first day of high school was a pretty big decision for 13-year-old me to make. I had always known that I'd like to work with electronics in some way as an adult, and I just couldn't pass this opportunity up. Before I knew it, I was touring job sites and learning more and more about the ins and outs of the field I'd be working in. My plan now that I've completed the program is to hopefully find a job with one of our business partners that can suit both my wants and my needs. Thank you for joining us for today's ceremony. It's really wonderful that we had an opportunity to acknowledge the accomplishments of all of our early college students. I'd like to take a few moments to thank all of the individuals who helped put this video together. I'd like to thank all of the teachers in the program, both from the college and from the BOCES. And I'd like, once again, like to thank all of the parents for all of the support you've provided these students. Lastly, I know this is not what we all had in mind for an end of the year graduation ceremony, but know 
that graduation is symbolic of what you've accomplished. It's not the ceremony itself that matters. It's your accomplishments. So take that with you and take on the world. We have the confidence in you and we know that you'll be successful. Thank you and we look forward to hearing about great things that you've done.